kinks. As most of us know, kinks in a fire hose reduce the flow from the nozzle. We've heard some different numbers surrounding just how much the flow is reduced, but without much for solid numbers, we didn't really know just how much. So, we ran some tests. Here's what we did. We took four lengths of 44mm hose with a solid bore nozzle on the end with a 24mm tip. To establish a baseline flow, we laid the hose out in various configurations, starting with a straight line. Then, we flaked the hose out, same as we would to enter a building. The first one we did was a Z pattern with the last two lengths of hose. The second one was a U-turn with the last two lengths of hose. And the last one we did was a spicy tuna roll, or the Cleveland Perversion, again with the last two lengths of hose. We were a bit surprised at how much the different flaking methods reduced the flow. With a straight line, the flow was 730 liters a minute, which we established at 100% flow. The Z and U flakes were both 640 li 674 liters a minute, which was an 8% drop. The spicy tuna roll dropped 13% to 632 liters a minute. We didn't know that simply flaking the hose out would reduce the flow that much. Interesting. Then it was on to the kinks. All of the tests were done with the hose laid out in a straight line, with the kinks applied in a third length of hose. We used four different kinks. 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees, and 180 degrees. First, we did all four of the kinks individually. With single kinks, they ranged from a 10% drop up to a 31% drop. Interestingly, the 45 degree kink reduced flow more than the 90 degree kink, and the 135 degree reduced the flow more than the 180. Generally, the larger the kink angle, the more severe the reduction in flow. The next test was with two kinks of the same angle in the hose. The range with two kinks was from 12 to 41 percent drop in flow. After that, we did three kinks of the same angle. The range was from 19 percent to 100 percent drop in flow. With three kinks at 180 degrees, the water just poured down onto the nozzleman's boots. Not terribly effective. Then, we decided to mix up the various kinks. As expected, the more kinks, and the more severe the kinks, the greater the reduction in flow. With three kinks, a 90, a 135, and a 180, there was a 64% reduction in flow. Here we go. This is a demonstration of a 44 liter line at 950 kPa pump discharge pressure, applying two kinks at approximately 135 degrees each. One kink. Two kinks. A noticeable reduction in stream range. One kink. No kinks. The important information to take away from this video is when preparing for fire attack, ensure you have as few kinks in your hose line as possible. Thanks for watching.